Scandinavian inspired Airbnbs that I've been to. This is the Villa Rock. Look how fly that looks. It's simple, it's clean. Got a fucking jacuzzi. Because honestly, it's unreal, right? Me and my family love the pool, but I'm never swimming in that motherfucker. I sit in it. But I'm never swimming around. I'm into some shit I can just soak and chill. I think I'm gonna start doing jacuzzi type shit. But alright, let's just play it. Hey guys, we're back at Hug in the Hills in Hawking Hills, Ohio, a new resort like style Scandinavian inspired retreat. There are four cabins here. This is my final tour of this place, which I think is my favorite the Villa Rock. We saved the best for last. This is another two bedroom, two bathroom unit, and the interior and exterior are just beautiful looking, very different from the other ones, if you ask me. And the layout is just a good one. Pulling up, there's plenty of parking here. You can charge your car with the electric charger. There's electric charging on all the cabins here. And this is the Villa Rock. Exterior wise, same materials used. The nice wood with the black metal. I like the natural colors here. And I like how they interchanged it with the walls, the roof. It just gives it a lot of texture and good look out here. But this one looks a little bit extra dimensional with this huge unit in the front that has the vaulted ceilings here. And then there's two units on the left and right of it. So it kind of makes a small T shaped here. Walking up down this path, we're right along the creek on this right side, steps away from it. And then this left side has your first outdoor deck space. Walking up here, we're tucked in the corner of the Villa Rock right here. A built-in hot tub on this left side. I love that feature. I love when they built it into the deck. Gets it out of the way. Hot tubs are big and bulky, but it's hidden in the deck space. And there's outdoor seating here as well to enjoy the nice sunlight with nature all around you. And then walking around this corner, I like this little walkway kind of built into this wall. This is the front of the Airbnb. Seating options out here. I like how they built in a raised spot here with some blocks and grass intermingled with each other. Looks great. And this is kind of like a small covered porch area. There are two sliding doors right here and this is off your living room. We'll be getting to that in a second. But taking just a big step back, this is a beautiful that shit is beautiful. I, I like that shit a lot, chat. Like, that looks dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want. Something simplistic but gorgeous, like architecture. I'm tired of all these houses that cookie cut looking the fucking same. Like, look, I got a creek in front of my shit now. I'm not sure how high that shit gonna get in a fucking storm. So it's kind of, to me, it's a little too close, but um, it's also dope to have, like, See the creek and shit. Property. All the natural materials and the tones. Definitely Scandinavian inspired if you can't tell. And the front door is actually right off of this deck space. We'll walk through here and check out the interior. Inside we're immediately in a large foyer area. Take off your shoes here. Take off your jackets. Hang them up here. And get them out of the space of your living room or your bedrooms. A designated spot for your stuff is nice. I know if you're bringing family and friends, it can get chaotic as soon as everybody's piling in and walking in and out. So a large area right here is great to have. Huge floor to ceiling windows already, even in the foyer. You know this place is gonna be great. You can either go to the left or the right. We'll go to the right first, which is mm. going into the middle of the unit. This is your living room and kitchen. That's badass. You see how that's, that's sexy to me, man. That's that looks fantastic. I love you know what the wood color is dope. Then with that black fucking cabinetry. Very contemporary, but it's got the barn door and that's how I see. See, that's fire, man. I can see me and wifey really like living like that. You know, it's Gives you this, the good space that you need. It's not overly big, but it's not also tight, tight and small either. Because you can fit like, what, one, two, maybe three, four, five, six. If you squeeze people on the bench, you could probably fit eight people on there. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you have the, the counter space too in the kitchen. See, that's dope. This is what I want, man kitchen area such a beautiful space vaulted ceilings it feels like a lodge in here like we should be in the mountains but we're right here in ohio it's beautiful and this first spot is the kitchen that's funny he was like 
it feels like we should be in the mountains. He's like, nah, but we're in Ohio. <laughs> like, Ohio be getting played all the fucking time, bro. It's crazy. This is the largest kitchen, I would say, out of all of the units. It might tie with the prairie. Large kitchen island here in the middle with seating on this side. They have placemats here for you, nice leather placemats, and then a sink over on the other side of the island. And you can stand here and overlook the rest of the cabin interior living room. It's a great view. On this back side, we have a ton of storage space and cabinets it blend seamlessly right into the wall. There's an oven, a dishwasher, a refrigerator right over here. Very high quality appliances, same as the other units. The well, quality the doesn't decline. If anything, it's rising because the space is larger if you like larger spaces. And one unique thing about this unit compared to the other ones behind these double doors. That's actually very European to have the washer in the kitchen. But it's also a good use of space though, to be honest with you. Having a especially if there's only two people. That's fine. You have the ironing board in there and shit like that, so Yeah, that's dope. Or is there is a stackable washer and dryer if you need to use that, which is really handy to have. Same industrial Keurig here for your coffee. If you don't know what that is, it plugs straight into the water of the house. I'm old school. We actually moved away from Keurig shit. Like, I just, I don't like the way it tastes. Like, we're, we're drinking out of Puerto Rican, so we're drinking out of fucking coffee here. And, you know, my kids drink coffee. So, the Keurig thing, it, yeah, it's not good for a large fucking family. I'd rather just buy the, the, the ground up shit, put an old school coffee maker, make 12, 14 fucking cups go at it it's, to me it's also more cost effective because those pods are not fucking cheap and you still always throw away these pods and by the time they fucking get recycled and shit you know what i'm saying like how does that even like no i don't want my coffee always in the plastic shit and it's always heated so you never have to fill it up or turn it on or anything very high quality keurig machine i it was really cool seeing this here at these units and that's everything in this kitchen space continuing there's the dining table here for all of you and your guests or family nice wooden look how deep that couch is bro like that's a fucking comfy ass couch like you're gonna be watching a fucking movie you're gonna get a good book and fucking reading that shit like wifey would love this spot and it's very bright and vibrant and as much wood that there is this color wood, I like it a lot, actually. But you got to be real strategic about what you're going to fucking hang. I think I would probably use command strips. I probably would not drill into this if I don't have to. Because then you, you really can't fix it unless you get like that wood putty type shit. But, but to try to match that, I would probably definitely use more command strips um, to, to, to not fuck up the the wood dining table and then we make it into your living room it's kind of split into two with the couch on this left side and on the right side really cool coffee table here in the middle nice furniture i mean it is deep it's comfortable you could lay here and lounge here right next to the fireplace which is here in the middle and right above that is your tv so definitely feels like a lodge or a ski resort retreat type of deal if you ask me and here are the sliding doors on both sides all the windows do concern me. Like, I do, like, some kind of fucking privacy. Like, so... Wifey will probably put some curtains up and shit. Um, some things will probably leave as is, but... <sighs> All those windows, like, I don't know. I don't like the fact that someone can always fucking see me. Um, and I might even get them tinted to where... I can see out like that, that clear but coming in so the, the good thing about the, the good thing about the windows again it does help keep you warm you know what i'm saying because the sunlight will come in warm up the spot but i know i would also do the in-ground floor heating as well this looks so dope the fireplace i don't like fireplaces but an all black fireplace like that that looks killer i like that is the fireplace that lets you walk out into uh, that front part I was mentioning earlier. So living room option is really cool. I love the wood shiplap all around in here. If we take a look up at the ceiling, the design up there, 
I mean, it's so nice. Much better than just plain white drywall, if you ask me. And there is actually another sliding door off of this living room. It looks like a window, but walking out here, this is your covered outdoor porch area. Dining table out under here. That looks dope. Um, I might screen that in. Yeah, I think I would probably screen. And the and the the grill looks like an after fucking thought. That's not a good place for it. I think I would have turned it around and f to face here. You know what I'm saying? This is like they just do this shit together next to that shit. I'm an avid cooker, so um you see you have a pathway to the other deck side here. So, and there's a pathway here. So I would either choose one of these sides and create an outdoor kind of kitchen set with this kind of pushed into it with counter space. And, and of course, mimic the whole style, but, but I would add that. I think that's what they fucked up at there. They should have, that's like a fucking afterthought. And then, then, yeah. But I love it. It looks dope, but... I would probably screen it in because of bugs and shit. I live in Georgia, so there's mad fucking bugs, though. So screen that in and then um, took you actually use more. I mean, the wood detail on the ceiling is beautiful out here as well. I mean, just taking a look at the details up here. I love it. And then you might be wondering what this little building is. This is your sauna. So multiple units have saunas here. You got to have one if this is a Scandinavian inspired place. That's fucking dope. So, yeah, I would have a sauna, and then I would have a fucking um, an ice bath bin. You know what I'm saying? To get those deep, like you know, ice baths, and then have the sauna. That would definitely work out. Go in there, use that shit, then go into the ice bath and go back in and out. Yeah, I still like that. And it's a custom built sauna. Walk in here, lots of room huge window in here just set the temperature by the dial on the outside and you're set you're good to go very cool if you ask me now we'll walk back inside and check out the rest of this wing so walking through this sliding door off the kitchen is your first wing immediately there's built-in bunk beds on this left side so this is the largest unit here and there are two beds so that's dope so you can have people come over you know Come and be comfortable because that shit out. That is that is great. I like that. Bedrooms and these two bunk beds. So four beds total. Kids can sleep here. Very high quality. There's lights built in, storage underneath. And then we can continue walking through here. And your first bathroom is through this left door. Now, when we walk in here, this probably looks familiar if you've seen the other videos. Same layout and furnishings as the other one. The vanity, your mirror up here with the light built in. And on this back side, there's a glass doors we can walk in here your toilet this one is a bidet toilet it's the only unit that has bidets if you're a fan of those and then this glass door is your shower space nice overall bathroom lot i don't like shower doors i like that frosted glass i would have did a stationary frosted glass in lieu of the sliding door looks fire lots of space in here and it's kind of cool how they compartmentalize so how you say it compartmentalize <laughs> the shower and the toilet walking out of here this last room down this wing is your first bedroom space large bed here on the left side dresser tv on the right side this one has a cool feature that this huge window is a small cubby space you can sit here read books they have cushions all around it and one cool thing they leave in these bedrooms are these fans so a lot of Airbnbs don't leave fans i know people sleep with fans and these fans you can move anywhere I became a big fan of them and they leave them here in each bedroom which is cool so that's this bedroom we'll walk out of this wing we got to go all the way back to where we entered into the foyer and you can actually go to the left side of that which is the other wing of this unit and this is your other bedroom mm. and this one is just like the ones at the villa creek and villa pine bed here in the middle and we can walk around both sides of it actually and there is a bathroom on the back side of that's fire i like that that's dope. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's dope as well. I don't see a lot of closet space, though. Like, why if he needs closet space? I don't see a lot of storage space. 
of it. So an attached bathroom kind of built into the bedroom. Same furnishings as the other one with your vanity, the mirror. You got the glass doors back here with your toilet and your shower. Everything tied in together makes this place feel really cool and cozy. You know, looking around, you can clearly see everything is high quality. But if you're a host and you're also looking for high quality finds for your rental, then I'm going to suggest Saucer.ai. They sent me some of their stuff that you can find. It's all locally found. Nothing is from Amazon on this website. And it some really cool stuff. I mean, they sent me granola, these jams you can have for your kitchen space, incense, there's a candle here, some soaps and stuff for your bathtub. I mean, they have a lot of stuff on their website. They also have these really cool thing called dark dots. I've never seen this before, but sometimes Airbnbs have pesky little lights everywhere at night and you can use these to block them off. So that's kind of cool. If you want to check out the website, if you want to get some new and cool stuff for you. If you're Airbnb, you got these little pesky little lights, I mean, they're fucking recording your ass. <laughs> yeah. Your Airbnb. The link is down in the description. That's the tour of the Villa Rock. What do you think? That's sexy, man. See, that's what I want. Buy some land, build some on-purpose shit, but different and more, mad useful, bro. Like... That's dope as fuck, man. Now, I will probably add another room to it because I need to stream, right? So I do like the bunk bed piece because then you know, people could come over, sleep, sleep over, and shit like that. The back bedroom is cool. Um, I will add probably another room to it for me and wifey could could kind of you know have office. She does, she wants a library, so I'm making a woo incorporate a library nook type of thing so she can chill and read and then i will build a garage a few feet away that's glass but mimics this exactly and each bay will almost be like a like a showroom of its own um i would do that but this is fire this is dope you got the little you know jacuzzi there so you know what i'm saying if it gets hot jump in the jacuzzi I love the fucking sauna. Um, yeah, this is dope, man. I like this a lot. This is fire. I like how everything was integrated. It looks like it belongs there. It looks like, it looks like it didn't take too much like resources to build and shit. Um, all the windows, I'm not used to all that shit. You know, of course, you're in the forest, but you're like, you know, who's there? We never know. Like, I don't know. Um, yeah. You think of this one, and that sums up Hugga in the Hills totally. Which unit was your favorite? I think it's this one, but I liked all the properties here. The Villa Creek and Pine are really cool as well. The Prairie is on top of the hill. It's kind of separate, and they're just all different.